What's up guys? Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. It is a beautiful fall morning here from Larky Park here in Walnut Creek. Today we've got a fun one for you. We are going to be talking about the 10 things that you need to know before moving to the San Francisco Bay Area. I get phone calls about this just about every single week from people who are thinking about moving here. They say, Adam, the Bay Area is big. It's expansive. What do I need to know about living in the Bay Area? So I'm going to be bringing you everything that you you need to know today on the video so let's jump in and check it out Hey guys, what's up? I am Adam Dobrinich. If this is the first time to the channel, welcome. Second, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because every single week I am dropping a new video telling you everything that you need to know about moving to or living in the San Francisco Bay Area. Now I am a licensed realtor and as much as I love making these videos, I would love even more to help you with your real estate needs. So if there is anything I can do for you, please do not hesitate to reach out. That phone number that you see popping up at the bottom, I do answer all of my own phone calls, emails, text messages. I get calls every single week about people thinking about moving here. I absolutely love it. So again, if there is anything that I can do for you, please do not hesitate to reach out. With that being said, let's jump in and check out the 10 things that you need to know before moving to the San Francisco Bay Area. All right, so let's jump into number one. We are definitely going to be talking about the weather. So as I mentioned, I'm here in Larky Park in Walnut Creek. It is a beautiful fall morning. It's going to be about 85 degrees later today and the important thing that you need to know about the weather is where you choose to live in the bay area is going to have a dramatic impact on the type of weather that you're going to get so if you want to live in the city of san francisco the temperature is not going to vary too too much from highs to lows throughout the year but during the summertime you're going to get a lot of fog you're going to get windier around can make it feel pretty cold but overall the temperature variance isn't going to change dramatically when it comes to the weather in the city of san francisco compared to where I'm at right now in the East Bay, Contra Costa County, you're definitely going to get more of those four seasons. And so with the four seasons in the summertime out here, you're going to get 90, 100 degree days. You're also going to get those beautiful summer nights. The wintertime, it'll drop down into the 30s at night, get up into the 50s and 60s during the day. And then spring and fall, you're going to get those beautiful days. And so you definitely get more of the seasons out here in the East Bay compared to somewhere like San Francisco in the city proper. And so, like I said, living in the Bay Area, it will really depend on where you choose to live that will have a dramatic impact on the type of weather that you're going to get. So definitely keep that in mind when you're trying to decide where you want to settle down here in the Bay Area. Number two, the second thing we need to talk about is definitely the traffic. It's everywhere. It's bad. It's something that needs to be called out. It's almost like living in Los Angeles at this point here in the Bay Area. So it's really, really important that you know the best routes to get to where you need to go, time of day that you want to make that commute. And then of course, trying to really understand your options as far as the public transportation transportation, whether it's buses, using the BART train system, munis, anything that can help you try to get around that traffic, you definitely want to look into. But really understanding the routes and the times of day that you want to travel can definitely lighten the burden of the traffic. But definitely think about that when you're moving to the Bay Area. So number three, if you're into sports, the Bay Area has got you covered. Everything from the 49ers with football, the Golden State Warriors with basketball, we've got the A's and the Giants for baseball, San Jose Sharks for hockey, and of course, the San Jose Earthquakes for soccer. So if you're a sports fan, the games are a lot of fun to go to here. The fan bases are great. We definitely love our sports here in the Bay Area. So again, if you're a sports fan, we got you covered here. Number four, we're going to cover some ground here. We're going to talk about the beer. We're going to talk about the wine and we're going to talk about the food. If you are a foodie, the Bay Area is also going to have you covered. There are tons of fantastic breweries here in the Bay Area. Some really famous ones like Lagunitas Brewery, Russian River Brewery, but there's also an incredible 
incredible amount of local brewers that you can find in basically every little town. And so it's an awesome opportunity to support your local brewers. The beers are amazing. The atmosphere and the vibes at the breweries are really cool. So if you're a beer fan, the Bay Area will definitely have what you're looking for. And then of course, if you're not so much into beer or you're also a big wine fan, of course, we've got Napa and Sonoma just about 45 minutes away. It's great for either a day trip to the wineries or even a weekend up there. So again, if you're into wines, wineries, Bay Area will have you covered. And you definitely won't want to miss the beer and wine festivals that we have pretty much throughout the year and across every part of the Bay Area. So, you know, pretty much wherever you're at, you should be able to find some type of beer festival or wine festival going on for just a great activity for you. Get to experiment and try more of the different types of wines and beers that the Bay Area serves up. Now, if you're a foodie like my wife and I are, the Bay Area will definitely have what you're looking for. Everything from those small hole in the wall taquerias where you can get some of the best tacos you will find anywhere, all the way up to those five star Michelin restaurants. The Bay Area will have it pretty much in all different parts of the Bay. Again, if you're a foodie, the Bay Area will definitely have you covered. You can pretty much find everything that you're looking for. Every type of cuisine, amazing chefs, really great restaurants and experiences here in the Bay. So number five, probably my favorite thing on the entire list is the Bay Area's proximity to everything. There, in my opinion, there are very few places in the world where you can live, where you can be 45 minutes from wine country. You can be two and a half hours from a place like Lake Tahoe, where you have all the summer type sports that you want to do, whether it's boating, fishing, just hanging out at the lake and the beaches. And then of course, in the winter time, when you want to go snowboarding and skiing, being two and a half hours from Lake Tahoe is a huge plus. You're also really close to the beaches, whether you're in San Francisco and you're just going to one of the local beaches there or heading down to Santa Cruz, which is about an hour away from where you're at in the Bay Area. The Bay Area really has an amazing proximity to a lot of different things that you would want to do. And I definitely don't want to leave out the fact that there's Mount Tamalpais, Mount Diablo, where you can get your hiking, biking, camping. There's just a lot of things that you can do here in the Bay Area in such a close distance. And that's really going to tie into number six or actually the activities that you can do here in the Bay Area. It's really pretty much limitless. So with these activities, again, I've already touched on a few of them, but with the hiking, biking, running trails, camping, if you're into the water stuff, again, you got the kayaking, paddle boarding, all of those type of just outdoor activities that the Bay Area is really, really well known for. We're a very active community here in the Bay Area. And aside from those outdoor activities, of course, you're going to have tons of music concerts here in the Bay Area. You have the theater in San Francisco, of course, the sporting events, which I've already touched on. And then, of course, just the general community feel that the Bay Area has. There's just so much to do here. It's really, really fantastic. So number seven is the diversity of the Bay Area. The Bay Area has lots Lots of people from all over the country, all over the world, people that have moved here. It's really just a great melting pot opportunity for you to, to meet people from different cultures, from different walks of life. It's really a fantastic place for that. So big thing that you need to know about the Bay Area is it's got its diversity for sure. Number eight, the Bay Area's also got you covered with jobs, jobs, and more jobs. The Bay Area, it's one of the things that attracts so many people from all over the country and all over the world are the access to jobs and employment here. Here. The wages that they pay are really quite good. Whether you're looking for a tech job in Silicon Valley or any other type of industry, it's a great place to not only start a career, but advance your career. So again, if you're thinking about jobs or making a career change or wanting to further your career, the Bay Area definitely has lots and lots of jobs. So as we talk about those jobs and we think about the wages that these jobs pay here in the Bay Area, you have to absolutely call out the fact that the cost of living here in the Bay Area is really, really high. Rent is high, home prices are high, cost of gas is high, cost of food is high. I mean, it is expensive to live here. Even just a night out with your significant other can run you a hundred bucks, no problem. And so it's really, really important that we call out the cost of living here in the Bay Area. Sometimes it can shock people when they move here, especially from out of state. So I definitely want to call that out for you, that the cost of living will be something that will be high no matter what. But again, the jobs here tend to pay to allow you to afford the lifestyle that you get here in the Bay Area. All right, so we get to number 10 on my list of things that you need to know before moving to the San Francisco Bay Area and that we are a dog 
culture here in the Bay Area. Dogs are essentially a way of life for us here in the Bay Area. They are part of pretty much everything that you'll do. You will see dogs at the restaurants, you'll see dogs at the dog parks, obviously hiking. You'll see them out with their owners pretty much everywhere at the park. So we love our dogs. They come with us, like I said, pretty much everywhere we go. So if you're not a dog lover, the Bay Area might not be for you. But if you are into dogs and you like dogs, we've got you covered here in the Bay Area. If you want to know more about these, I am your Bay Area realtor. I do answer all of my phone calls, emails, text messages. So please, if there is anything that I can do for you, any questions that I can answer, my team and I are here at your service. So with that being said, have a great week, have a great weekend ahead, and we will see you on the next video.